August 8th, 2015. The models had called for a 50-50 shot at tornadic storms in southeast Nebraska between 4 and 7 p.m. If storms did pop up, they were going to be epic. After meeting up with other chasers and even going as far as Hanover, Kansas, witnessing only brutal convection inhibition, I set the course north, feeling the agony of defeat, as I thought I had driven all these miles for nothing. And then... Bang. The models were right after all. Just two hours late. This is it. I knew I was in for a hell of a show. I headed towards Elk Creek, Nebraska, as fast as I could. Decided to happen late on us here, so. In 30 miles, turn right onto US Highway 136. Closing in on Elk Creek, I called 911 to report a rapidly rotating wall claw directly to my east. I took one last glance at my maps, chose a road, and went for it. We have a real good wall claw to As I neared this massive vacuum cleaner of a wall cloud, I could start to see the telltale point of a developing funnel east-southeast of my position in a field about two miles away. Here we go. Here we go. We got a funnel. When I got to what I had estimated to be a mile away, I pulled over. The wind was coming right out of the north at a good clip into the center of the structure. I had a sinking feeling something very powerful was close by, so I turned my camera to the southeast. I had to turn up the ISO all the way to maximize any available light as it was very dark at this time. And although I could not see it with my naked eye at the time, I knew it was there. And it was big. I 
replayed this clip and boosted the exposure 340% so this way you can really see the outline of this thing. As you can see, the quality of the shot really begins to fall apart. But I wanted to really illustrate my exact proximity to the funnel itself. As I moved forward with the wall cloud, the lightning began to backlight the funnel very brightly and I could for the first time see it full on. I gotta be honest here people, I was very nervous at this point. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's it. As dark as it was, and as little as I could see, I knew I needed to get good shots of this thing. I drove all the way down here after all. So I pulled over, set my camera to take long exposure photos, held it as still as I possibly could, and snapped off six shots, ten seconds apart. My god, am I gonna get out of this alive? So... About 50 miles south of Sioux City right about now. Got the rest area here. Everybody's looking all sleepy. Got some truckers. Yeah, good times, good times. It's like, uh, oh, what does that say? 144? Yeah, that's what it is. This guy to get some sleep. Yeah. It is still just muggy as all hell. Now, as luck would have it, the next day's severe outlook moved from Illinois to Indiana up to East Central South Dakota. What a deal. Right on the way home, too. Folks, this uh, rotation couplet here is really starting to pick up, and I would be shocked if that was a tornado warning, uh, tornado warning any minute here. So I'm kind of uh, south of that Wessington, whatever. I'm kind of by Alpena, South Dakota, coming up on Kimmel, South Dakota. We got some wind towers up ahead, so <laughs> this might make it for an interesting uh, damage video. Hopefully not, but. If so, I'll get it. Hmm. There we got a little funnel cloud. Yeah. Just a little guy. Trying to do his thing. That little feature there is really starting to organize now. Some pretty good oncoming shelf now. Yeah, shelf, 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 shelf. And if you look, oh, it's kind of buckling over it, so. Mm -hmm. 
everybody. Tornado warned and everything now. One shot ahead a little bit. And uh, things got a pretty good notch on it right now. I'm gonna jot ahead and get out and see what I can see. Jot ahead, get out, film, get back in the car, jot ahead, get out, film, get back in the car, jot ahead. Yeah. That's the way I like to do it. Well, it's officially tornado worn now. There's definitely a lot of good spin in this, but it's super outflow dominant right now, which is discouraging, but, you know, things could happen. Starting to kind of do its thing now. So people, this is that uh, horseshoe shape we look for in a tornadic storm. Uh, kind of has this feature like so. And you generally see that in a wall cloud. Not all, you don't all the time see a low hanging wall cloud, you just see that. But um, it's kind of this storm sign of it's trying to wrap up and do something. You can see the little wisps of clouds getting sucked up in the updraft there. There's that damn cold air again. Wow, look at that. Look at that windmill in the distance getting rocked. Versus green here, really good red versus green. So yeah, it's green. It had become very evident to me at this point that these cells were very outflow dominant and the chance of a tornado was dwindling minute by minute. But there's always time for good time lapse.
On the way home, I encountered one last severe worn cell, and ended up not even a mile away from a hell core that I was sure would shred the glass of my vehicle into unviewable marble. Good time to stop and wait it out. Mino, South Dakota, apparently had experienced some very high winds and torrential downpours, as well as marble-sized hail that had already melted by the time I had arrived. Yep. <laughs> I really thought I was going to be able to move that branch. That thing had to have weighed at least 800 pounds. Well, so much for that. On the road out, I encountered a vehicle that apparently had been blown off the road. I asked if they needed help, and they told me that a tow truck was on the way and nobody was injured. Good deal. Sigh of relief. What a long weekend. On my drive home, in more torrential rain on I-29, I reflected how dangerously close I had gotten that tornado. I thought about how even though the storm structure was moving to the east, it could have easily turned north, backbuilt, growing into a massive wedge is what happened in El Reno, Oklahoma. That storm killed the most cautious storm chaser in the game. I thought about my family. I thought about my son. If I learned one thing from this chase, it's this. Night chasing sucks. Until next time.